How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson No Properties. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. All right, let's get into it. Before I go, get into it, remember Patterson No Properties, we sell, um, we we um, wholesale real estate throughout the DMV area, plus we um, plus we um, do it within Reading, Pennsylvania, Lebanon, Pennsylvania, Allentown, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia area all at the same time. So don't forget to check us out and, you know, we'll be able to go from there. All right. So, excuse me. I'm talking about rents going up, I do this at least once a year. Um, it's interesting. And with 2023 being probably one of the highest inflation years when it comes to darn near everything, um, it's a subject matter to talk about. All right. So, we officially halfway through the mark of the year of 2023. We're in, we are in July. And all I know is that rent, real, uh, real estate prices are, are still going up. Rental prices have gone up tremendously, and especially ever since the um, since the pandemic, since the um, eviction moratorium has been lifted, um, a lot of people have been evicted. A lot of people, the court systems have caught up. A lot of people cannot afford to pay the higher rents, especially in places like Florida and in Texas right now. It's always been like that in New York and California, but now it's transitioned to those other states. So it's a crazy thing. Now. In my personal opinion, um, it's always been my model in life. My model in life is basically this family. If you and your friends and family are not trying to operate like a corporation, then you are putting yourself in grave economic danger. No matter what, no matter what state you live in, no matter what city you live in, regardless who's in the White House, governor's house, or mayor's house. In today's world, it really has always been about what you're doing in your house. All right. So according to the article that I read the other day, rental costs throughout 2023 had an average increase from the previous quarter within this particular region of central Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and surrounding um, suburbs within a, a two-hour suburbs and small towns in a two or three hour radius. Um went from in the previous quarter it was at eighteen hundred and eighty one eighty seven dollars to now it's at nineteen hundred and forty seven dollars. Now some people may say that an increase of less than a hundred dollars and only an extra sixty dollars at the end of the day, but for most pe for most day to day working people, an extra sixty dollars a month to a hundred dollars a month can be detrimental for lots and lots of people across the United States of America. The article also stated that, however, noticeable increases in in areas such areas as Fishers, Westfield, and Anderson, Indiana, shows increases well over a hundred dollars from the previous quarter. For example, um, Fishers. Indiana saw an average rental price increase for $138 in the situations like this, especially in the Midwest and the South of the United States of America, could build up in, in could build up in certain situations where rental increases can slowly but surely cause forms of gentrification. The article also stated that rental costs appear to be rising at a slow and steady rate rate throughout the year with number with the number of homes and rented following the same trend. Days on market numbers are starting to vary depending on the city where with uh, demand for um, homes in certain areas impacting whether or not they um, people within that area see a drop in the rise or a rise in the total days home, um, as far as homes remaining vacant. And with the housing shortage, I do not see an uptick in vacant houses anytime soon. But if certain landlords decide to increase the rent by five to six hundred dollars a month in certain areas of the United States of America, not just in Indiana, Indiana where the article was based out of, then that could possibly be the case, you know, where you see vacants go up, up, up. It could, it could turn into a situation like um, one thing like New York and Los Angeles. They've always had a housing crisis. They've always had over high, overpriced housing. But there was one time in New York City where like landlords had to come down on the rent because so many people left the city to the point where nobody could um, afford to rent anything in New York City anymore. Um, my uncle, who lives in New York City, was actually able to get a great deal on an apartment um, during the pandemic because it, it was the whole supply and demand, and the customer um, didn't have the demand, but the actual um, landlords had the supply. So therefore, he was able to negotiate a reasonable deal to where he was able to pay reasonable rent, number one, and then two, he was able to pay it within a better neighborhood all at the same time. So just something to think about. Now, the article ended on this note saying that um, the last quarter 
um, pe people within um, certain parts of America and even in Indiana did see an uptick in the numbers of homes leased and cost for rent. While days on the market vary between cities, Indiana is hoping to see cities that had an increase in days on the market follow other major cities who had seen a decrease from quarter one of the 2023. Throughout July, um, local investors and property managers have seen trends continue. However, enti the entire Midwest is considered to be in a seasonal market that tends to slow down later in the third to fourth quarter, aka very cold and bitter winter seasons. Uh, the only cause for concern, the article stated that, is that um, the chill down season may increase days on uh, days of properties being on the market, meaning rent price and overall property conditions should be a primary focus for investors. So it should be an interesting situation for not just Indiana, but all over the nation. And um, we'll see how things pan out within the new year, especially if we are, I mean, even most throughout most of the country, um, people don't move as much, you know, during the school year, um, once September and October um, comes and then from there to at least the springtime, because, you know, most people who have families, especially people who have families, are not trying to move throughout the school year because, it's, you know, it's always harder on the kids. They only do it if they have no other choice. So on that note, do the great thing for things, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. As always, say, make money moves. They're going to live like a fool. Take care.